Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're gonna make a super easy dollar store bird feeder. Let's get started. First, we headed to Dollar Tree for supplies. We picked up two jars, two hanging lids, a bag of stones, and something to hang it with, these cable ties. Here are all the supplies, and we'll start by washing the stones. So we opened the packaging and just poured them into a colander and then poured some water to make sure they were nice and clean for the birds. Then we dried them off to make sure they were dry before we added the bird seed. We took the labeling off the jar, unscrewed the top, and added the stones. Then we added some bird seed that we picked up at Target. And the hanging lid screws right on and it's ready to go. You can hang it anywhere. Here's a hook that we have on a tree. There's also a hook under my gazebo. And we also zip tied one to the side of the gazebo. The jar easily screws on and off of the lid for easy refilling of bird feed. What, what we learned. learned. All right, so the reason why this came about is because um, about a month ago, a cardinal actually set up a nest in an outdoor umbrella in my backyard. And so I set up a camera and I watched the whole process of the babies being born and the mom and dad feeding them, and it was awesome. So after that, after the birds left, I was kind of sad I didn't get to watch them anymore. So I thought, oh, if I set up some bird seed, maybe I'll see those birds again. And so I really needed to do something really quick. And so I first actually set up a plate with bird seed on it. And then I set up a camera. Maybe that was a bad choice because then I saw squirrels getting oh. into it and then I saw a rat get into it and that was a no-go for me. So then I was like, I need a quick solution. And that's when I came up with this idea because I already had a mason jar and I had bought one of these lids a while back at the Dollar Tree. And so this was a perfect quick solution. And it's so, and I knew that the bird seed could get wet because it rains here in Florida a lot. And so that's why I thought under the gazebo in my backyard would be the perfect place for it to have it sheltered, but no squirrels could get into it. And I will tell you, I've seen video of a squirrel trying to get to it and they couldn't, so success. Now we did this in two different ways. We did one with rocks and one we just filled the entire jar. And the reason why we put the rocks in is because the birds aren't gonna be able to reach all the way down here. And a lot of this is gonna go to waste. So we just um, filled this with some rocks. And we would even actually fill it with more rocks. So if you're gonna do two of these, you'll need two bags of rocks. I've had this for a couple weeks now. And what I have noticed is the birds, when it's only birds eating the bird seed, they go through it really slowly. So I would say this is not a huge deal to have to refill. I've seen a lot of bird feeders where it self refills and I was looking to do that, but then I realized they don't really go through this that fast and I can easily add more bird feed um, when necessary. Now we bought these jars at the uh, Dollar Tree. This one is actually just a mason jar that we had. So you probably more than likely have a mason jar and all you would need to do is get this lid. And another thing you could actually do are use those little um, fruit ones that are only about this deep, which would make it very shallow and very easy for the birds to get to. And you wouldn't need any rocks that way. And if you wanna see the whole process of the bird putting the nest in my outdoor umbrella and kind of their journey. I actually made a video on my second YouTube channel, which is called, Hi, I'm Steph. And I'll put a link to that below if you wanna see that video because it was pretty cool to see the whole circle of life. It was a fascinating process and I was so disappointed. We were out of town the day they actually flew the nest so we didn't get to see them. And I now see our cardinal friend actually oh. back here in the backyard. So we need to go put these feeders back up so they have some some treats to uh, munch on. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. And if you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. And this is our guard dog was here the whole time, standing between us because she's a Velcro dog. <laughs>